Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In today's session, let's see how we can design layouts in TK Enter with the help of row configure and column configure functions. So, all this while we have seen the geometry manager like the pack, grid and place to place the widgets in a particular manner. So, in today's session, let's see how we can extend the widgets so that it occupies the entire screen of the TK enter. So there are two functions called the row configure, column configure. So firstly the column configure, it resizes the grid vertically. So whatever extra space is there in the TK enter screen, it occupies it vertically. And row configure resizes the grid horizontally. So the row configure method configures the row while the column configure configures the column. It has two parameters index and weight. Index is nothing but the row number that is the zeroth row or first row, second row. So it represents the index value of the row or the column. Then we have a second parameter called the weight. The weight determines how high the row will occupy which is relative to other rows. Suppose we have two rows, row 1, row 2 and I give a weightage of 2 to row 1 and weightage of 1 to row 2. Then row 1 will be twice as high as row 2. So it's relative. So based on the weight values, the rows will have the relative uh, height whether it is 50% or whether it's 100 percent. So based on the weight, it will determine whether the row should be twice as much as the second row or whether it should be half as much as the second row. So based on that, it's a relative value. So the column configure method configures the column index of the grid. So the first parameter is the index which represents the column number. The second value is the weight which determines how wide the column will occupy which is relative to other columns. For example, a column with a weight of 2. If I give weight as 2, then it will be twice as wide as a column with a weight of 1. So, the first parameter in the row configure and the column configure is the index. So, it has two parameters. First is the index, which is the row index in case of row configure and column index in case of column configure. And the second parameter is the weight. It represents the weight to each row and column to match the expansion and contraction of the main or the parent window. So if we increase the weight, it will get expanded. If we decrease, it will be contracted. So today, let's see how it works in TK Inter. So, I have taken four frames L1, L2, L3, L4 which is having width is 150 and it is of color. First frame is of color red, second is orange, third is green, fourth is blue. Then with the help of grid method, I am placing it in row 1, column 1, the red color frame, row 1, column 2, the orange frame, row 2, column 1, the green frame and row to column to the blue frame. And we have used sticky as NSEW so that it will extend in all the directions. And I have used row configure and column configure. The first one is nothing but the row index values and the second one is nothing but the weight. So the first row should be twice as high as the second row. And here, weight is 2 for the first row, weight is 1 for the second column. So the second column is twice as wide as the first column. So now when I execute this particular code, my frame, red frame occupies twice as much as the green frame because I have given weightage as 2. Similarly, the red frame occupies twice the width as the orange frame because I given the column configure for the first, first row to be twice as wide as the second column. So now let's code and see it in TK Inter. Initially from TK Inter I am importing all root equal to TK 
and now let me create my frames frame 1 equal to frame place it in root background color equal to red width equal to 100 height equal to 50 so this is for the frame 1 Then I am having frame 2 which is orange in color. With this 100 height is 50. Then I am having frame 3 which is green in color. Then I am having my fourth frame which is blue in color. So I am having 4 frames basically with width as 100, height as 50. Now let's place it with the help of the grid geometry manager. So f1.grid row equal to 1 comma column equal to 1. Then I am having my frame 2 Then I am having my frame 2 which is in row 1 column 2 Then comes the frame 3 Then frame 4 Frame 3 is in row 2 column 1 row 2 column 1 frame 4 is in row 2 column 2 so now when I execute my code I get it in this particular manner where red orange green blue it has occupied only so much space and there is lot of extra space remaining so I want to extend it or resize it so that it occupies the entire space. So how do we go about it? For this we use the concept of row configure and column configure. So that it occupies the entire space in the TK inter screen. So firstly let us use row configure. This is my TK inter main screen and I want to I want the height to be occupied fully so this height is occupied fully and the weightage for both the rows is same because I want this height the height of the red frame and the height of the green frame to be equal so how do I go about it for this I have to use root dot row configure root dot row configure the first row comma weight equal to 1 since both the weights are equal I want both the weights to be equal for row 1 and row 2 the first row I am giving weight equal to 1 and again similarly row dot row configure second row that is the row index is 2 I am giving the weight equal to 1 so that both row 1 and row 2 will have equal heights. So and here we have to give sticky sticky equal to ns not to south. Similarly sticky equal to ns. sticky equal to ns sticky equal to ns so it extends from north to south now when I run my particular code 
so whatever was there before i we had red frame so much orange frame so much blue and green 100 and 100 in width and 50 in height now with the help of row configure this has extended to occupy the entire height and what we are seeing is the height of the red frame and the height of the green frame are equal because we are given the weightage equal to 1 because we are given weightage equal to 1 1 both are same and now so we get this particular figure in the TK inter screen now let's move on to the column configure let's move on to this is row 1 row 2 ok now in the second figure I want my row configure for first row the weight I want it to be twice as that of the second row so here row configure for the first row weightage is 2 row configure for the second row weightage is 1 now let's execute and see how it works let me close my session now if I run it here we see the weight the height of the first row is twice as that of the second row so the red row is having height twice as much as that of the second row which is the green row green frame so because I have given weightage for the first row is twice and weightage for the second row is equal to 1 so it is relatively making it 2 by 3 and 1 third so it occupies in the relative manner and it occupies the entire height now let's move on to one more concept called the column configure UMN. so this is nothing but the width for column configure we have to get give from east to west east to west And now when I run the code, let me close my previous code. Now let's move on to this column configure. So in the row configure, it occupied the entire height. And in the column configure, it occupies the entire width. And one more thing what we are seeing over here is let me give the weight equal to 1 and 1 for both the columns. And now when I execute it, we see that the red column and the orange column both are having the same height. That is same width. Sorry, it is the same width. So this width for red and this width for orange is same because a given weight equal to 1 and 1 for both the columns. Now let me make the width, height width of the red frame equal to 2. And now let me execute it. So the width of the red frame is twice now as that of the orange frame. And it has occupied the entire column position. So it has resized the frames. Initially it was only so much. And now the frames have got resized. Now if I apply both row configure and column configure. Let's see what happens. So first let me give it as row configure and this also row configure and let me give sticky as N S E W. So in all the directions I want the frames to expand.
so when we give both row and column it's better we give it as north south east west so that in all the directions the frames get expanded and since i given weight as 1 for both the rows and both the columns the rows and columns will be equally distributed so now when i run the code let me close it now when i execute the code we see that all the frames are equal in width and height so this width is equal to this width and this height is equal to this height so all the frames are equal now and it has it's fitting into the tk inter main screen exactly so it has expanded in length and height and now if i want my red screen to be twice as much as my orange screen so i have to give column width of red should be twice as much as the orange so i have to give column width of red to be twice as much as that of the second column now when i execute the code see the width of the red is twice as much as that of the orange frame and the red height and green height are the same because a given weightage for both the rows equal to 1 now if i make weightage for the first row equal to twice as compared to the first, second call second row then let's see what happens now if i execute it we see the second height sorry the first height of the first row is twice as that of the second row because a given first row weight as 2 and second row weight as 1 similarly the first column weight is 2 so this width is 2 and second column weight is 1 so this width is 1 so it is relative this occupies two third of the width and this occupies one third similarly this occupies one two third of the height and this occupies one third of the height so after creating this particular layout we can place different widgets on the red frame or orange frame or green frame or blue frame and do as per our requirement so whatever requirement is there we can pass those particular widgets and make it place in these particular four rows so this is just a layout how we can create with the help of frames using the row configure and column configure so basically row means it is the height this particular height column means this particular width so whenever we want the widget the frame widget to occupy the entire height we use row configure when we want it to occupy the entire width then we use column configure and based on the weights it will relatively give the values to both the rows or both the columns in this particular case we have considered two rows two columns but we can have any number of rows and any number of columns and we can give different weightage to each of the rows so that it will be relatively positioned into the TK inter screen and it will be expanded it will occupy the entire space so if it is row then we have to give north to south if it is column then we have to give east to west if it is both row and column then it's better we give NSEW that is expand in all the directions Hope so friends this layout was this layout was easily understandable. So here we have row configure so that it has occupied the entire height. Column configure so it has occupied the entire width. Column configure where width of the first column is twice that of the second then we have column and row configure where all the width and height are equal then we have row and column configure 
where the height of the first frame is twice as that of the second frame and the width of the first frame is twice as much as that of the second frame because we are given weightage equal to 2 and weightage, weightage equal to 2 for row 1, column 1 and weightage equal to 1 for row 2, column 2. So, hope so friends, it was clear for you. If you have any doubts, please do reach to me out in the comment section. If you like my video, click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notification of my new videos. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.